CataractCoach.com. Capsule cutting with micro scissors for a fibrotic anterior lens capsule. Our guest surgeon is Dr. Devi Mandagi from Indonesia. So take a look at this fibrotic white lens. And then the capsule is so wrinkled and fibrotic, you can poke in with the cystotome here, but it's impossible to get it flipped over. So grabbing with the forceps to try again, and this is after staining with tripan blue dye, it just becomes very difficult to see what's going on. And as you try to tear it, it looks like it's going to compromise the zonular support. So instead, micro scissors being placed here via these incisions to cut an opening in the anterior lens capsule. Now, a cut opening is not going to be as strong as a, a torn capsule rexus. The advantage of the torn capsule rexus is its strength. But in this case, you don't have a choice. There's not going to be a way for you to tear a rexus. You can see he tried again, but he's forced to use the micro scissors in order to make a capsule opening here. Now, this is sometimes seen in these white cataracts where the patients have the white cataract for a very long time. So then the lens material, the lens cortex, which was initially liquefied and opacified, it becomes absorbed, the lens capsule contracts, and you can see you just can't possibly tear it. And so you've got to use these scissors. So if you have a case like this, and it's again most commonly seen in these types of white cataracts that are in patients for a very long time, you may have to resort to something like this, using micro scissors to cut it. Now, could you use a half million dollar femtosecond laser too? Of course, but not everyone has access here. Here's the end of the case, looks pretty good. Capsular bags have been inflated with viscoelastic and the capsular opening is gonna be enlarged now. So the initial one was quite small, the pupil has since dilated up and you can see an attempt to tear it again is not going to be fruitful. So best off making an extra paracentesis, placing these micro scissors via that opening and going inside here and continuing to cut and enlarge this anterior capsule rim. Now you could leave the very small anterior capsule opening, but I like this idea by Dr. Mandagi, which is to enlarge it, to make a normal size capsule or excess or capsulotomy out of it for about a five millimeter diameter. That'll give great long-term results for the patient here. If you leave this big white fibrotic ring there, of course, it minimizes the patient's effective pupil size, but it may also be visible. If the patient's indoors and the pupil dilates beyond that white rim, it may look quite odd. So I do agree that you should go inside here and uh, finish cutting it out and, and make it to a normal size. So once this is enlarged to a sufficient degree, it'll also be a lot easier to put the eye well in the capsule bag. So make, make sure you keep the eye inflated with viscoelastic during this step. You don't want to inadvertently touch the posterior capsule with the forceps or the scissors even, because you can damage it and poke right through. So there we go, we got a nice crescent of that scar tissue off, and we can pull that outside the eye now, that's totally free. That looks great. Now here comes the lens. The eye well is gonna go in the capsule bag, single piece acrylic lens. That'll go in quite nicely. And that's a good choice for this eye. And you can see that fibrotic capsule there still. And he's gonna do just a little bit more trimming here in that one sub-incisional area. This is the mark of a perfectionist. I like it. You wanna make the surgery as beautiful as possible. Remember, every surgery you do, you're leaving your signature. You want it to look as good as possible and to give the patient the best functional visual results. Take pride in your work. That's very important. So here comes the end. Looking very good. And now, again, that little small piece can be uh, cut further or uh, pulled outside the eye. And once that's done, it's going to be a beautiful result. So I want to thank Dr. Mondagi for a beautiful video. Now, you're going to end up with a case like this one day. I know it sounds unbelievable, but believe it. Even if you're a beginning surgeon, you're going to get a case like this. I've had many in my career. And this is a beautiful technique that he's showing us here of how to solve all the issues that are in going on in this case. Now, you're not going to be able to remove all that white hazy material from the remaining lens capsule. So don't worry about it. Look at the patient's before vision and now look at the after vision. What an incredible difference. So don't feel like you have to go here and polish out the capsule bag and do all kinds of extra maneuvers. You've done enough. And the patient 
most importantly, has a beautiful result with restored vision. Great case. Thanks for submitting it. I know you love the YouTube videos, but check out the website, cataractcoach.com. A lot easier to navigate. We have a complete list of articles and videos. You can go and check on any of these categories and explore more. You can also search. There's a search engine that's really effective. You can see Gore-Tex lenses like this. And finally, you can look up about me. There's a link that has my surgical instruments. Now you don't even have to ask me. You can just find out for yourself what's the name of those forceps.